to not just want ain't, ain't no off duty. It was people I hung with, smoke with, been in the studio with. It's like, in this rap, be hating. Don't trust nobody in this rap. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Puka Anonymous underscore. Alright, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, I don't know what's going on over there on O Block, man, from the indictment to Gleesh pulling out blicks on the youngins. The dudes not really rocking with each other like they seem. Down to the rumors of O Block being shut down by January of 2023. Now, there's been a lot going on at O Block, and it seems like it's getting worse. All right? Now, today we're going to be speaking about O Block Durky. Not to be confused with, you know, Lil Durk, aka Durkio. Um, Durky is an up and coming young artist coming out of O Block, totally different. And um, his chain has been taken, right? The same chain he just got as a gift to him for signing to his new label, Dream Global Records. And get this, it was taken by another. O Block member a part of TSG, which is the young crowd of O Block. You know, younger than the dudes we we are familiar with. Now the chain is valued at nineteen thousand dollars. Durkey said, and the way it was taken from him, he described that he was pretty much snaked out by his own affiliates on Kita Day. Now during a phone interview, Durkey made it very clear that no ops did it to him. It was his own people he hung with, smoked with, been in the studio with, and says that dudes just really be hating. Now he later explains uh, to the people that's listening to not trust anybody in the rap game and says that he was trying to put the block back in place and guys slimed him out. Now y'all know how it goes when guys get their chain took and starts going on tour and shortly after it being taken, Buck Munner was seen with it on in his pictures with Ty Munner and others. Then after that, Mr. Man was in his IG story with the chain on and the caption that said, quote, want his ish back, buy it back, laughing emoji. Now, if that wasn't enough, Mr. Man also took to his Instagram story to correct Durkey on the snake allegations, and he said, quote, In words be lying on Antron, I ain't snake-ish. You a goofy who got went on. Hundred emoji and shoulder struck emoji. Now, as of now, Durkey has erased all his posts on his Instagram, and he took to his story to quote a King Vaughn tweet, saying, quote, Whatever it is that got you overthinking, don't stress that ish, because time heals all. You're going to be straight. I promise. Right? Now, I'm sure that he's going through it mentally right now. Usually when someone loses their chain, that's like a stain on their character. And you'll never really get to live that down throughout your career as a rapper. Not to mention, he just got signed. So his career kind of just started. Right? Now, there's no telling if he really got snaked out or not. Maybe he just felt that, you know, he was closer with the dudes than he really was. And he got caught out there. Sometimes we may feel comfortable with someone because we've been around them a few times and feel we cool. The whole time, it really ain't what we think it is, and this just goes to prove it. Now, it also could be a total different story with Durkey just getting his chain took. He may not want to admit it because who wants to admit that they plainly just got their chain took? You know, but honestly, it happens to the best of us, but it is a little foul when it comes from the guys that you considered your friends if it in fact happened that way. I have a hard time believing that he's going to wear his chain out like that around people he didn't feel comfortable around, so I don't know. However, the streets is dangerous. And let this be a lesson. You can't come around the wolf shining and you ain't on point or if you ain't willing to go about your chain. You know, I don't care who it is, friends, family, whoever. Obviously, he wasn't as good as he thought he was, so we got to try. But you got to be a little more aware of your surroundings, your circumstances, and be a little more on point. Y'all jump in the comments, let me know how y'all feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, 
I'm going to keep on dropping, and I'm out.